And I'm not going to draw the mirror image. I already know there's four different groups. So uh, because there's four different groups, it's going to be chiral for sure. I just want to know if it's right, R or S. OK, let's first do the priority. So you get out your periodic table. If you're a little fuzzy on this, one is going to be here. We know hydrogen is going to be four. Now, when we look at these two, we have two carbons. So those are equal, actually. So carbon has an equal molar mass with itself. So you need to go one away from the carbon. So the next thing to the carbon is H is here, and an H and an O here. Well, the O is, has a higher molar mass than the H is, so this one's going to be two priority, and this one's going to be three. OK, now, yes? You're right, let me repeat what you said. I think what you said is right. Uh, you don't take the overall molar mass. You take the neighboring atoms molar mass. So not the overall, you could have a big honk of thing, but it's smaller, you know, it'd be less. So for example, if I kind of change this one up a little bit, CH2, 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 CH3, I would not change the numbering. Because this still has two H's and a carbon, but this has an oxygen. So the oxygen counts as higher than a carbon. Is that okay? Even though this is monstrously big. Okay. All right. Now, R or S doesn't go as easy because you kind of need your head looking like this. Okay? So there are four ways to do this. I will teach you all four ways, but usually the third and the fourth are most popular. Okay? The way that's least popular, way number one, that most of you will not do, rotate it in your head so you put four in the back, or put your head underneath it. Can any of you do that? What do you get? It's R. It's R. Okay, can't do that. Let's go to way number two. This is kind of my favorite way, but students never like it. It's called the bus driver. Okay? You know, if you're a bus driver, if you've ever seen a, been in a bus, they have that big wheel on the bus, and you like turn to the right or to the left. Okay? And then below the steering wheel is a steering column. You know what I mean? So number four is your steering column. So you grab that with your hand. You will look really awkward when you do this in public. And then you grab number one as like the hand hold it, and you go from one to two to three. And you just rotate it while I'm turning my bus right. Okay? Anybody who likes that way can do that way. That's the second way. Now we get into the third way. You've got to soon decide which way you're going to pick. Pick one way that you like and stick with it. The third way is the thumb, the thumb method. You might have used this if you've had physics and done the right hand rule. That sounds familiar. What you do is your thumb is number four. So you point your thumb at number four. And then, I'll do this here, one, one is here, two is here, and three is your fingertips, okay? So can I, with my right hand, close from one to two to three? If so, it's a right-handed molecule. So I go over here, I can go, here's one, okay, at my wrist, the thumb is four, and yes, I can go one, two, three, and my thumb pointing at four. I cannot do that with my left hand because I would break my fingers off. <laughs> it is right-handed. You do it with your left hand, it's left hand. Okay? That's the third way. That's a very common way that a lot of students will do it. Okay? Okay, this is the now the fourth way. You've got to pick one of these. The fourth way is the least visual, least acrobatic way of doing it, okay? Here's how the fourth way works. Fourth way I call the paper method. Paper method, what you do is you take your molecule, redraw it, okay, as such, and you uh, redraw four in the back and switch it with whatever needs to be switched to make it in the back. <coughs> 
Okay, so in order to get four in the back, I have to switch it with three. So I'm going to put three up here. Okay, so you switch to make the lowest priority in the back, and you switch it with whatever you need to switch it with. You leave the others exactly as it is. So renumber. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, does that make sense? So I switch four with whatever I need to to get it in the back. Now, you do your do. Okay? So, uh, one to two to three, what do you get? You just turned left. Is that okay? So, your original must have been the opposite. Okay? This follows the concept that if you switch any two groups, you switch uh, it's, uh, it's handedness. Okay? So if I switch any two groups, I switch the handedness. If I switch another two, it goes back. So if you have to switch any two, uh, you find the orientation of that one just connecting one to two to three, connect the dots, Sesame Street sort of thing, and then your original was the opposite. Okay? Those are your four ways. This is the least visual, least acrobatic. You don't need to use your fingers out in public. And you just find out what it is. Okay? You've got to pick one of those four ways. Uh, let's try a couple examples. And you can maybe try and figure out what's your favorite way of doing it.